Jester, and welcome back to another episode of Warp Jester Does Minecraft. This is my uh, Survival Multiplayer Series Episode 4, and this is actually a very exciting episode, because today I get to introduce somebody new to the server. I didn't mention this last time, but today I get to see who it is. Yay! And it is... Somebody's hindquarters. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Rock? <laughs> Uh, apparently my hindquarters. <laughs> <laughs> apparently. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a lovely mask you have on there. It's an improvement. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so anyways, guys, as I said, uh, we have uh, Ruark joining our server. Uh, we met uh, Ruark back in the uh, a prior uh, prior server we were on. And uh, they, uh, both him and Cranky from Cranky Craft, uh, joined our server and started doing a few uh, videos. Unfortunately, things went... Uh, went awry and the server ended up not being a place for us to stay at so we kind of went our separate ways for a little while and I've been watching Rurik on his channel uh, for quite a while and been chatting back and forth and let him know we got this fine server up here so I wanted to invite him and he finally said yes I only had to harass him and you know threaten his life but you know <laughs> I mean, but he, he willingly came after that <laughs> 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 so anyways, guys, um, I know I got I kind of did a server tour with you guys last time on my first episode, but since Rourke is new to the server uh, and he's kind of poked around a little bit, but I want to go ahead and give him the, the, the A-list tour here and show him exactly where everything is at. So obviously this is our uh, wonderful greeting station when you first spawn into the world. This is the, uh, the spawn area here. We are going to dress up eventually. We just wanted to have a nice, simple, clear, mob-free area. So we've got a little torch there. Yeah, go ahead and head down this way to Rourke. We'll head into the main town here. And on your left, we actually have uh, a tomb here from the Gravestone mod. That's actually a mod we selected because we wanted to have an ability for people's stuff to be saved if they die. And well, the reason for that really is because, A, there's a lot of complex stuff nowadays, like advanced jet packs and Tinker's Construct items. They're kind of a real pain in the you-know-what to, to replace if anything happens to you. Um, more so over, there are uh, a lot of mobs, uh, mobs mods that we've added. I've talked a little bit about it. We've got uh, um, Infernal mods that adds uh, kind of uh, attributes to mobs. We have the Special Mobs mod, which makes mobs unique, so you have different types of zombies and skeletons and so on. And we also have Mutant Creatures, which spawn very rarely, but man, have you ever, have you, have you seen one of the uh, Mutant Creatures here yet, Rurik? Uh, all I've seen is the skeleton with the tree leaves as the head. Oh, no, no, this, this is something completely different. We're talking about mobs that are, think like, four-legged spider, as big as my house type creeper, that launches little baby creepers at you and blows big holes in the ground and wants to eat your face off. So basically Cloverfield. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Ew, boy. <laughs> yeah, the the uh, the mutant the uh, mutant zombie, um, if he catches you, will toss you up into the air and then jump up into the air and basically hammer fist you into the ground. And I did not mean to make it sound like that, but yeah, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's painful either way. I'll tell you that much. You brought it up. <laughs> yes, I know. So, anyways, this is this is our main town here, and uh, this is actually kind of a holdover. We actually going through the different uh, beta phases, we had to enable biomes that didn't get enabled and so on. So we've actually uh, uh, used MCA at a couple of occasions to get buildings moved to the new locations as we've updated. Um, that was simply a beta occurrence. It's not the norm for us. But we do try to make an effort to preserve things. So we've got our basic little town here. We've got my little Christmas tree I put up. I uh, just uh, got the episodes up for that. Our little tree topper up there. So that was kind of appropriate. <laughs> So very, very fun little build, doing the blinky lights and everything. I had to add a little extra uh, flare here, so I've got the uh, candy cane lane here in the snow. And then, just because we were kind of in beta and getting things going, we all kind of shacked up next to each other. So we've got my house right here that I'm on top of, and then we've got uh, Turco and his wife. We've got Bunny in the blue over there. We've got uh, the girls in uh, this little house here, the little creepery. Oh, I, I forgot to show you guys oh this last time. <laughs> It's a, it's a cutest little creeper you ever didn't so see. <laughs> oh my god! So this is the girl's house, and then back uh, back that way is uh, Yankee Vader's place, and he's got uh, a crazy crazy tree system back there. That that system he's got. He's is, got wood. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just gonna let that one go. <laughs> um, a few things of note: uh, we do, we did just recently add the carpentry mods. So we've got wonderful little slopes and other unique things oh here. My. It, ah. Hey. We're on the break. Break. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still. Exception. <laughs> Destroy computer. <laughs> It's a little bit Hi. odd in Minecraft, but nevertheless. <laughs> um, so in the, in the main city here, we've got uh, our little laundromat here. So if you ever need to repair your armor, so we'll repair armor for you. Bear in mind, it's only going to be the vanilla type armors. It will not understand or respect uh, any modern armors like bronze armors or electric armors or anything like that. And it's obnoxiously loud. <laughs> so you can actually throw your armor in the uh, thing and get it cleaned up, so to speak. We've got our little workshop here, and... Originally, back in the day, this was actually one of those uh, L-shaped um, little village uh, rooms, and I doubled it over, mirrored it, and then stuck the basically wrapped the two buildings around this uh, uh, smeltery, and then and we ended up making more room and more room, and just kept getting bigger and bigger. So we ended up finally just kind of doubling over the size. So, but this is basically where all of our stuff is right now. It's a little bit tight, tight quartered here. I am in the process of. Uh, getting new buildings set up in the industrial area for all the stuff to move to eventually. But if you need anything, this is definitely where to go. We've got uh, our ace here that you can think of. Um, all the technical guts are down below. If you really feel in the mood to go dig a hole, you can actually head all the way down to the ladder to the very bottom. And down there we've got uh, a uh, mining system that Seshi started, and I've got a mine cart that will ship everything back to the top for you. Um, I, 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 I told... <laughs> I, I've told you guys this before, but uh, I'll reiterate. Uh, our mod pack is a little bit unique in that we have, uh, to the best of our ability, disabled anything related to teleporting, be it player teleporting or item teleporting. And the few things we can't, we've just made a pledge not to use. And this is kind of going in tune with kind of the logistics and fun of... Uh, quick question. Work. Okay, go for it. This does not include ender pearls, right? Oh, no, no. Ender pearls are fine. Ender pearls... Oh, and thank God. <laughs> ender pearls and nether portals are... are uh, but basically, pull it boils down to if you, if you can pull it off in vanilla, then have at it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's that that's kind of a given. Speaking of uh, ender uh, or uh, nether portals, we've got our church here. There's another portal and a uh, portal to the uh, twilight forest in here. I will be moving the uh, um, portal for the uh, promised land that's up in the sky into there at some point. We've got thumbcraft in here. We've got uh, some books downstairs if you need to. Get some enchanting done. We've got a little enchanting room down here, as well as uh, we've got a couple of book things set up here. So if you want to print off some books, you can. Great library. Lots of great tech. <laughs> 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 great tech for something. So that's uh, that's the base right here. This is kind of a residential zone. Um, back this way for people who are just getting started, if you'd like, you're certainly welcome to. You know, dig a hovel and hide in the dark, dark cave if you like. But we do have our wonderful motel here. You can check in at, and uh, we've got uh, plenty of rooms open right now. These rooms are. Uh, this you you gotta see this. <laughs> yeah, <I> see. <laughs> These rooms are unique. I'll just turn away. Close the door, man. <laughs> uh. The level of riffraff we have around here. I, I, I got to show you guys one of the worst ones. Uh, I mean, the best ones here. Here you go. Oh, God. It's uh, <laughs> My eyes, they're bleeding. They're bleeding. No, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so it, one of the things you guys may have caught is uh, we do have, like, some of the tables from uh, Bibliocraft, but then you have things like the lights here. The uh, shades that Rourke's playing with. These are all from the uh, Jammies Furniture mod, which is a really fun mod, including the uh, mm. facilities that Rourke borrowed. <laughs> I really hoped you left some toilet paper there. That's kind of rude. Uh, at, at uh, the, I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> at the end of this, we're going to have our laundry room, which is currently <laughs> occupied, apparently. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> so we've got a little laundromat down here, so if you need to wash things, you can uh, move down here. The other orange mat's probably going to get closed down, but uh, nonetheless. So like I said, man, you're welcome to check in here and uh, hang out for a little bit if you'd like. Take a swim in our pool. Um, yeah. Let's try this. Oh, man. 
So we're going to be expanding this out here because this is kind of a little residential area. It kind of bleeds into the motel. I'm putting a strip mall in here where you can set up yourself a shop and uh, sell things. Um, I'm actually going to go shooting straight over the hill here. Hope my jetpack holds out. <laughs> so Speak I do for yourself. I only got 30k. <laughs> Uh, I actually going to be doing a, uh, a sign across here, like a Hollywood style sign for the Ball Rocket Gaming logo. So that's going to be a fun project. They've got a city hall here, and a city hall is uh, something I've been working on. This is actually the, the rough out of the uh, place is done by me, and then uh, uh, Heather went ahead and did the detailing work. And then I have got uh, our main, main meeting room in here, and our main offices. I've actually taken for instance in this office, and I put a few uh, few to do list items up for myself. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I thought I needed to finish projects. <laughs> <laughs> I know I saw that video. I'm like, oh, you have no idea. <laughs> 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 Definitely, you guys, if you haven't uh, checked out Ruark yet, go ahead and uh, check out his channel. He does. Uh, um, he was doing a, a, a Feed the Beast uh, modified as well as a uh, vanilla Minecraft. Um, both the uh, current 1.7 as well as a uh, old school beta 1.7 and man I gotta tell you man that is such a kick to watch because that that's back when I first got into it hearing the the twang of the arrows from the uh, uh, skeletons yeah. and and the old gravel texture <laughs> I I I'm this, still not sure how to feel about that. Now nah, that I'm this so used to the new one. I I I hate this stuff. I think this stuff is horrible. I, I would take the old one a day. I really would. <laughs> I, t I take it in the inventory. I'm not sure about in the real world. Uh, I think it's kind of nice looking for Path. Because in the inventory, you can't tell the difference between gravel and cobble. Ah, gotcha. I might be able to change it. Who knows? Yeah, so that's the haul there for you. Like I said, guys, uh, definitely check out his channel. He's got some got some great stuff there. He also plays these other games, but they're not blocky, so I really don't pay attention to them. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, way, they're way too pretty. <laughs> so this, this is our uh, our wonderful power plan. You realize here. you're talking about 2008 games, right? <laughs> hey, compared to Minecraft, they look good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just recently ran an AE line all the way from the workshop where the AE system is at, all the way out here. Uh, it's about uh, 600 uh, lengths of cable to get out here. <laughs> so we got these. Uh, uh, these guys set up, and unfortunately, we burned through what we had for uh, cold coke. And I haven't added anything else in terms of uh, additional things. I've got just basic export buses, so we'll get that up and running. But very, pretty much as of late, just these two liquid boilers here have been enough to keep us uh, uh, well and keep when it comes to power. Um, like I said, we, we've, we've taken a different avenue when it comes to power. We're not doing the typical big giant battery bank, so to speak, uh, you know, for power on demand. We're actually doing uh, power live from the turbines. We have a whole bunch of turbines here fed by those boilers, and they'll simply spool up as needed. And it's actually worked out pretty well. It's kind of nice because you you'll be sitting here, all of a sudden you see like two of the turbines spin up. It's like, hmm, okay. And I've got room for another four turbines here, and I've got uh, some plans in my test world to actually dress these guys up and make them look really nice. Um, and then if at some point having all of these guys somehow isn't enough, then we'll then roll over to uh, Greg Tech and do Greg Tech Turbines, which is going to be an interesting challenge. For those of you that uh, haven't really played with Greg Tech, or more importantly, haven't really played with Greg Tech uh, Steam Turbines, they have a obnoxiously high uh, input need of, I think, something like 1600 uh, per tick for Steam. It's just, I mean, it, it's it's crazy. And the only thing I've found that really appeases the uh, um, the input in terms of, uh, of uh, input per tick is the actual Greg Tech uh, machine boxes with uh, the right panels on them. Even the uh, liquid ducts can't ha are capped at 100, so they can't keep up with it. It's, it's frightening. <laughs> So, yeah, that is frightening. Yeah, um, this is this is gonna be the industrial zone. So we went from the residential zone over the hill to the city hall, which is the uh, commercial area, across the uh, power plant here, and then finally over to the industrial zone here. We've got Turgo working on a a water water desalination plant over there. <laughs> and then <Why>? this. 
<laughs> <laughs> so one thing, you, one thing you guys are gonna figure out very quickly is me and Rook have two very different views of Minecraft. I take the realistic view, put in supports, make things functionally right. He makes floors out of cover panels that are supported by nothing over a huge pit. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. You're gonna fall in one of these days. It's gonna be all kinds of an OSHA lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, you and you're adding over a hundred mods. You'd find a way. Hey, at least I'm not doing the realistic water mod. Um, this is actually going to be our new data center. So I've got, uh, this is kind of an odd building. I, I, I said this in my last episode. I, I'm really not in love with this look, but it was the first time I actually tried to create a building on my own as opposed to kind of taking uh, inspiration for something else or trying to copy something from the real world. But the idea was you'd have a main entrance right here. And then you have a couple security doors. One side is going to be the data center itself, so all of the storage facilities and everything. And then over on the other side here is going to be all the different uh, Big Macs. So what I've decided to do is I'm actually going to, instead of having just one big, giant, huge um, Big Mac, I'm actually going to have a modular system that's going to have like basically one Mac for every mod so we can manage them and, and kind of keep sense of everything. So this is where everything's going to go, and I've actually got most things uh, dug out and ready for the line to come over, so the switch over would be pretty easy. AE is really friendly when it comes to moving, which I love. You just pack up your uh, pack up your hard drives and head out, and pretty much you're good to go. So up this way here, we've got uh, the beginnings of our rail yard. This is one of the to-do list items I brought up in my last episode. This is our little service area here for the trains to pull in. Again, it's fun and aesthetics. I, I, I enjoy the functionality. I really enjoy doing like, the, like redstone logic, but I really enjoy also having an aesthetic value. So I've got this wonderful building here for the service bays. I'm going to have a little service area down here with you know the uh, water towers and so on. And then i got to move this out. Uh, it's going to move to another location. This is actually a little uh, town that uh, RG is going to build. But this entire flat area here I flattened out is going to be a big giant rail yard. So we're going to actually have uh, all the trains and carts and everything here. And I'm actually going to try to develop a managed uh, rail system, actually have a tower for control, and actually have full control to manage everything in this yard from a tower. So that'll be interesting. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, is, that is basically the main town. The, main, the, main, the big main town here is going to be somewhat sprawling. Um, we're gonna have lots of big areas as you can see here. People are gonna be filling out, and I, I and I hope it grows. That's my intention. From here, we're we're actually uh, just kind of a theme for the server. We're actually gonna have kind of um, satellite specialty cities all around different directions. Um, actually, down this rail line here, I'll show you in just a few minutes. Is uh, what's the beginnings of the forestry town? And that's actually a town that's going to very much be dead focused on doing wood type products and the idea again for the kind of the humor and fun of it is to create logistics that we can try to challenge ourselves with so this main town here is going to be completely devoid of any kind of wood generation so when people need to have wood we're actually going to have a rail system that's going to go out grab wood from the uh, forestry town and bring it back and me and Yankee are working on figuring out how to automate that in part or in whole it's a, it's a really good challenge and it's really fun I um, think I know a way. Oh, we we we've we've had we've had a couple of jam sessions uh, uh, trying to figure things out. And if you want to chime in, uh, I will certainly entertain ideas. We'll well, next time Yankee gets a chance to be on, we can uh, talk about it a little more. But uh, in any case, one thing I, I want to show you is the only other town we really have up and going just yet is the Forestry Town, and even that is just a couple of things. But I'll show you that anyway, just because of the pretty bridge that's down there. Um, we do have some plans for a Honeycomb Town coming soon. And it Wait, what? Oh yeah, Yankee wanted to do uh, bees, so we're gonna mm -hmm. create a uh, bee town. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so many good things, a little time. I All right, guys. What that'll look like? We're gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna take Rourke down to the uh, forest down here, and uh, we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're out to here. Uh, at the uh, Forestry Town, I just wanted to show Rurik real quick, give him an idea of uh, what's to come. Again, we are going to be doing a lot of other like specialty-focused cities. Like the idea of this place, for example, Rurik, is anything tree-related. So this would be the city that you'd get planks from, sticks from, furniture from, etc. Um, you know, this kind of be the the town focus on that. Um, Yankee has uh, decided he really likes to work with bees and wants to do a bee town. 
So he's going to scope out a new spot to do bees, and we're going to help him uh, get everything laid out there. I try to help out as much as I possibly can with everybody, but at the same time, you know, I want to let people run with it. I don't want to... I don't want to be the sole creative art here. <laughs> so, but that's basically how things are going to go. Um, I'm not sure what you want to do, my friend, but uh, you're certainly welcome to shack up wherever you'd like, stay in the motel as long as you need to. If you'd like to pick a spot out or if you want to start a city, you know, we'll be more than happy to help you out here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, as always, we do certainly do appreciate uh, you uh, joining us. And uh, uh, as always, you know, leave a comment down below. I certainly do appreciate the comments and input. Uh, likewise, a like always helps. A little promotion brings more people. With more people, it becomes more opinion. And sometimes that could be a good thing. Sometimes it can't be a good thing. Uh, <laughs> it all depends on how you look at it. And of course, uh, you're always welcome to drop into the Ball Rocket Gaming forums and uh, say hi to us there. And again, you now have... Ah, there it ah, is. Stop moving. <laughs> you, know, you guys now be able to say hi to Ruark as well. Uh, also, uh, definitely need to make sure you uh, stop by Ruark's uh, place. It's uh, Ruark88 on YouTube. Uh, anything you want to promote there, Ruark? Oh, he's dead quiet now. You told me not to move. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes a smart donkey. Sure they do. <laughs> Boy. Um, anything else uh, besides the YouTube channel, you work? Uh, Go check out this guy. My guy. Guys. Gals. I don't know who a lot of you are. <laughs> <laughs> who, whoever, whoever that is. <laughs> go check, check out this guy. He's a Warped Jester Gaming on YouTube. Just getting started, but he's got some pretty good content. You'll see some pranks from his perspective, and ah, oh, those are good things. Hopefully, you could give me some heads up when he tries to prank me again, because I know it's coming. <laughs> Rule of thumb: whenever you log on, just have yourself recording just in yeah, case. Yeah, I learned that from the last <laughs> one. <laughs> I tell, I tell you guys, I I so wish we could have caught it. I so wish I I, I had given the heads up. We we literally had I don't know a couple dozen zombies dressed in police gear. Sitting inside of his workshop when he logged in, he got pummeled, ran out the front door, and immediately got assaulted by a a, a large group of SWAT, basically zombies <laughs> in all black uniforms and laser rifles. <laughs> he rigged a SWAT truck to open up when I opened the door. <laughs> it was beautiful. That well was played, good. Sir. That was well that played. was that was all Bunny's idea for the SWAT truck. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now you're back on with us. So chances are this kind of stuff is gonna probably end up happening again. I won't get any work done around here. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be kind whenever I possibly can. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you very much for joining us. Um, if you get a chance, uh, definitely make sure you uh, follow on both our channels. We're certainly doing a lot more and a lot more interaction. And this server, again, is very, very young, so we're just getting things set up. So you've got a great opportunity to see the world as it comes alive, so to speak. Give input, give suggestions. We certainly love uh, getting inspiration from uh, comments and uh, input, so do not be shy. Uh, once again, I'm Warp Jester. That's uh, Ruark with some bad gas, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all, take it easy. See you later.